welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka on a brand new week, a brand new day and we're very excited today. I don't know for what reason but I'm That's feeling... That's because we're talking about wedding. Exactly, I'm feeling in a marrying <laughs> mood today, you know, uh, in a okay. marrying mood. <laughs> You're in a marrying mood? Yes, I am. <laughs> That's but, quite weird. <laughs> no, no worries. No, it's not weird, it's very exciting as I said before yeah. but we just had a good uh, session um, with Sam of course, yeah. uh, with Mr. Ravi uh, Deabru as well, yeah. just, yeah. Uh, on a completely different theme, but we definitely learned a lot of, yep. uh, from that as well, yeah? Yeah, and I like the fact that there was a dancing element there. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very interesting. Vanu, why don't we uh, talk to... Getting back on track <laughs> on what <laughs> yes. we were talking yes. about. Yeah? Um, I, I know this is a frequently asked question about the flowers. We can see a flower over there as well. But I just need to ask about the artificial flower combination with the fresh flowers and using fresh flowers alone. How is this different from each other? Um, okay, Ban. Uh, actually, uh, when it's come to wedding decor, okay. you can either go for a, a fresh flower arrangement. That means all the flowers should either will be in fresh or else you can go for a combination of fresh and uh, silk flowers. I mean artificial flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are to uh, do with uh, all fresh flowers, sometimes the cost will be a little bit higher. But uh, if uh, you are not uh, keen on uh, spending so much on flowers, maybe you can go for a mixed flower arrangement. That means mm -hmm. fresh and um, silk flower combination, which also look really nice. And I don't say it, it's bad. It's even the mixed flower arrangement can be really nice. But you have to make sure that you use very high quality silk flowers. Okay. So we have, uh, like Vanu saying, we have an example of one of those uh, settings over here in our studios. Um, what kind of uh, decor is piece of decor is this, and uh, for what uh, reason do we use this at weddings? Yeah, Anupam, this is a uh, table centerpiece. Oh, right, uh, okay. Actually, uh, this is actually a candle stand, okay. and we have uh, decorated the stand with uh, some uh, lovely flowers. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, you can use this. Uh, uh, for your centerpiece uh, in your wedding and then again this is quite tall so if you want to like uh, uh, cover the lot of spaces in the hall you mm -hmm. can really go for a tall arrangement but you have to make sure uh, there are no flowers or anything in your eye level because then it will be disturbed oh, yeah. for your guests yeah. to why because when it's come to wedding they would like to talk to each other yes, when they are cool so and this all of shouldn't these shouldn't be a disturbance so yes, but this is <laughs> but all of these are actually fresh flowers or is all these are fresh flowers okay. this, here we have used some um, chrysanthemum roses and some uh, gerberas together with hydrangeas okay. and berries okay right. and this is specially uh, this is uh, specially uh, uh, recommend for a